What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at three different ways to make a Pi game game full screen uh, for your computer. I've had a lot of comments requesting this one, and so we're gonna do a quick tutorial on three different methods you can use to make a full screen Pi game game. All right, so uh, let's set up a really quick Pygame game uh, by starting with import Pygame and then Pygame.init. And then let's make a variable run equals true. And then while run, this is our main game loop. We are going to say for event in Pygame.event.get, which is setting up Pygame's like event handling. And then if event dot type is equal to pygame.quit. So this is that red uh, X in the top corner. We'll set run equal to false. And then we will do pygame.display.flip. So anything we decide to draw on the screen will get drawn on. Uh, and then pygame.quit. Okay, so by default, this is sort of all we need. Um, now to create just the most basic screen we can, we'll say screen equals pygame.display dot set mode and let's just say a 500 by 500 rectangle okay so let's just boot this up make sure we got the basics and you can see I get a 500 by 500 square for my current uh, game okay so let's take a look at number one method of resizing to make it uh, full screen and this is going to be the simplest one because this is what I typically do on tutorials on this channel where I give it a specific size if you want to add the feature that it can be expanded, all you have to do is pygame.resizable, okay? It's a built-in feature and you can put it right here in the set mode functionality. So if you just make that one change and now boot it up, all right, what you're going to notice is that now actually the maximize window is available and uh, if you hold your mouse over the sides or the corners, you can resize it. And so if you need to understand how objects are going to interact on the screen with this, you can do pygame.draw.rect, screen, red, and then let's just make it in position 200, 200, and we'll make it a 100 by 100 square, okay? So now I'm gonna boot it up. And you can see it's sort of dead in the center of my 500 by 500, but if I make this bigger, what you'll see is it stays in that position because I defined that rectangle in that position. If you want to build a game that scales with the screen, you need to use things like get width and get height to make sure that they're always in the same spot relative to your overall screen. All right, but that is the resizable option. That is option one of what we're going to cover. Option two is actually a little bit more simple even, and in my opinion, it doesn't do as good of a job as resizable does. But let's say that, okay, for this one, change it to zero, zero, and what we're going to do now is pygame.fullscreen, like this, okay? And what you'll see if we try to boot this up right now is that the window just takes up the full screen. We don't even have the X in the top anymore because we defined that it's always going to be full screen. So this does have some utility, but basically the only way to get out of it is to like hit the Windows key or Control Alt Delete so that you can close the window. If you have multiple monitors, you can close it from the other screen. Um, but that is the pygame.fullscreen functionality. It's not that there's no time where you'd want to use that. It's just that resizable gives you sort of the same functionality, um, but uh, it, full screen sort of takes away your ability to exit as easily. Um, so this would give you something where you'd maybe want to be uh, putting a close button on the screen somewhere that uh, the players could exit the app from the screen then. All right, so let's take a look at the third one and what I think is probably the uh, proper way of doing this. If you, if you are trying to create a game that can work on anybody's computer and you want them to have a good experience, then I would also import the OS module, which is just a very basic, oh, um, very basic module that comes with installs of Python and add this line, os.environ and then in here just say sdl underscore video underscore centered just like that and then equals and then in 
uh, parentheses one, or sorry, in uh, single quotations one. But then we wanna get some info about our system. And so we do info equals pygame dot display under dot info with a capital I. And this needs to be called before set mode. Okay, because we have to um, get some info. And what we're going to do is say that our screen width, so our current screen width and our current screen height are going to be two things that we just got from that info module. So it's info.currentw, comma, info.currenth, okay? And so all this is saying is we are getting the current width and height of our screen and setting it in these intermediate variables, screen width and screen height. Then we can come down into our screen equals display dot set mode and instead of zero zero in here, we can put those in. And so if we were to just put those raw values right in here, we would be getting exactly the screen height. So what you wanna do a lot of times is actually add a little bit of an offset so you can still see the window bars. So like if we were to do minus 50 on the height and minus 10 on the width, this would still give us a pretty much full screen but where we'd still be able to see the edges. Okay, so let's boot that up. All right, and here you can see we can still see our title and we still have our title bar. It's not currently resizable, um, but it is almost exactly the full window size, but I can still see a little bit of the toolbar in the bottom. So you can combo these things as well. So you can say that you want it to be um, that size initially, but also resizable. And so it could boot up this way. You can still make it a little bigger or a little smaller, and you can still um, add the ability to sort of drag around your edges. Um, and so these are just three different, really use, useful methods for determining the overall window size of your game. So that is forcing a full screen, making it resizable, and then actually using your system to get the size of the screen and using that to determine your game window. So I hope you found this useful. Nice short tutorial this week. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see more of, or if you had any questions about what you saw today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Bye.